The entire history of the Earth. All right, it's an intense video, this one, so we're making our lights red. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Here we go. Oh, my God. So there it is. There is the Earth in the Hadean Eon. You can see it says 4,540 MYA. MYA standing for million years ago, so a very, very long time ago. Average temperature, 4,000 degrees. All right, we changed like 300 million years later. We've got our first bit of ocean. Still in the Hadean Eon. And there's also signs of oxygen. Look at the moon! The moon looks exactly the same. Alright, 3,800 million years ago. First life. Universal common ancestor. And it's all purpley! That's amazing! We're off again. God, this is insane. Like, you can't comprehend how far away this is. There's bacteria now on Earth. There's actually little bits of land visible as well. Oh my god. Oh yeah, land's proper doing its thing now. Look at that. 3,200 million years ago. We've got some iron. And the lightning! Did anyone see the lightning? Oh my god. I mean, this is just insane. You just cannot get your head around this. First glaciation. We've got a north and a south pole going on. Reduced carbon dioxide. Right, we're going through the ice age. And that looks like a person in a dress, doesn't it? Look, waving their arms about. 2,500 million years ago. And there's first atmospheric oxygen. And the moon is just doing its thing exactly the same. God, look at them f breaking up. That's crazy. Mass extinction? Well, what, what caused that? Another ice age? The ice ages are insane. That's the Hudronian ice age. Oh my god. But look at that. Look at the ocean. The ocean's all pretty and blue. 2,000 million years ago. It's still like an uncomprehensible amount of time ago. Oh my god. God. Right, 1,100 years ago. Multicellular organisms, there's fungi and there's algae knocking about now. That's how long it took to get to fungi and algae. Another ice age. Whoa, that is a mad ice age. Snowball Earth. Mass extinction once again. See you later, algae. Unlucky, mate. And then chills out once more. 600 million years ago. First animals. All that time. Like, how long was that? 3,000 million years ago. And we're just now getting animals. We are so young. Okay. Oh, mass extinction again. Sorry, animals. Unknown cause. That's terrifying. We are now 520 million years ago. Complex eyes, predation, exoskeletons, arthropods. Right, so some somewhat familiar or recognizable animals or life now on Earth. Oh, nope, never mind. Mass extinction, unknown cause. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Average temperature is now 18 degrees, so it's a bit more normal to what we know. First reefs, first plants. We've only just got plants? What on earth? Alright, it's getting a bit too chilly now, if anything. Mass extinction again. Sorry, plants. Okay, no worries. Still not recognizing any kind of land formations yet. Crinoids, vertebrates, some jawed fish. 430 million years ago. Oh my god. Oh, it's getting quite warm. Age of the fishes! Tetrapods! And we've got insects knocking about! Yes! I bet it just looked incredible down there. Oh, no, mass extinction again. Sorry, guys. They've all been greenhoused. We <laughs> this is just crazy. Oh, we're now getting forests and amphibians. I cannot believe it. Meanwhile, the moon is just looking exactly the same as it always has. I never comprehended how old and unchanged the moon was before. It's absolutely crazy. Whoa! A lot more land. Supercontinent. Pangaea! It's bloody Pangaea. We, I've actually heard of Pangaea. Okay. So Pangaea will start breaking up and we'll start recognizing... Oh, mass extinction again. Okay. This period of time was called the Great Dying. It's not a great time to be around, is it? Quite sad, that, really. All right. So, yeah, we should start seeing Pangaea break up and become somewhat recognizable. Oh, first mammals are knocking about. The Triassic period, 220 million years ago. So we should be just about a dinosaurs and stuff. Oh, mass extinction again. Okay. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. Pangea's starting to break up. We've got Trianosaurus knocking about. We've got birds knocking about. It's the Jurassic period. 100 million years ago. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. We've got South America kicking about. Oh, no! What's that? Was that the meteorite in Gulf of Mexico? Oh, mass extinction. Comet impact. Oh, no. Okay. So sad. So sad. 
Oh, and suddenly we've got all the consonants five million years ago. They're not a hundred percent the same, but look, you got Europe, you got Africa, you got South America. I didn't get a chance to show off my fossil, guys. Don't worry, guys. One sec. Okay, here we go. This is my Spinosaurus tooth. Very nice. So by this point in time, the Spinosaurus that this tooth belonged to had already been dead and buried for about 50 million years. He's just sat down there somewhere. I think it's from what's now the USA. So he was just up there. Isn't that mad? And then these are me fish. <laughs> these are from 52 million years ago and they were found in Wyoming. Oh my God, insane. Have we got time to show you the pterodactyl tooth? Go on then. <laughs> So this is a pterodactyl tooth that was found in Morocco. So this little tooth was sat right there this whole time. You just can't even comprehend it, can you? Absolutely mad. And we are now reaching zero million years ago. So present then, I guess. Yeah, there's Homo sapiens knocking about. So we started turning up like 200,000 years ago, which is just nothing compared to even 1 million years ago. Never mind 4,000 million years ago. But yeah, there is now technology knocking about. As you can see, we've got lights, the industrial revolution. Greenhouse event. Surprise, surprise. Lightning. And there it goes. That was epic. It was really eerie, but very, very interesting. And it just shows us how little time and how insignificant the human race is compared to the grand scheme of things. Absolutely mad. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something. Subscribe. Link to Paleo Zoo in the description. I'll see you later.